solving quadratic equations by completing the square. Let's consider the equation x squared minus 14x plus 3 equals 0. The first step is to get the x squared plus bx part by itself. So I'm going to subtract 3 from both sides. So then I would have x squared minus 14x is equal to negative 3. Now I'm going to complete the square. To complete the square, we take the b coefficient, which in this case is 14, and we divide it by 2, and we square it. 14 divided by 2 is 7, squared is 49. So I'm going to add 49 to both sides of the equation. Now that completes the square. We write the factored form of the trinomial. So x squared minus 14x plus 49 is x minus 7 squared. And on the right-hand side, we have negative 3 plus 49. That's 46. Now we apply the square root property. So x minus 7 is the positive or negative square root of 46. And we isolate x by adding 7 to both sides. So x is equal to 7 plus or minus the square root of 46. Let's look at another example. 5x squared plus 9x plus 1 equals 0. And so the first thing I'm going to do is subtract the 1. So I have 5x squared plus 9x is equal to negative 1. But now I want to get this in the form x squared plus bx. So now I'm going to divide each term of the equation by 5, yielding x squared plus 9 fifths x is equal to negative 1 fifth. Now I will complete the square. 9 fifths divided by 2 squared. Well, that's the same thing as 9 fifths times 1 half square, and so that's 9 tenths square which is 81 over 100. And so that's what I will add to both sides. Writing the left-hand side in its factored form, we would have x plus 9 tenths square. On the right-hand side, we have negative 1 fifth plus 81 over 100, getting a common denominator negative 1 fifth is the same as negative, let's see, we'd have to multiply by 20, negative 20 over 100 plus 81 over 100, that's 61 over 100. Applying the square root property, x plus 9 tenths is equal to the positive or negative square root of 61 over 100, so that x is equal to negative 9 tenths plus or minus, now the square root of 61 over the square root of 100, that's the same as the square root of 61, 100, so that's the square root of 61 over 10, and so x is equal to negative 9 plus or minus the square root of 61 over 10.